Hi, it's so freaking drunk uh, here again with uh, yet another attempt at a nail review. Next one I'm going for is uh, from the William Brothers again, William Brothers Stable, and it's uh, a Grosette or Grosé or however, whatever way you pronounce it. It's a premium Scottish beer, aged with citrus fruits and it's a uh, five five per five five percent actually on the, the old Richter scale it's a big 500 mil bottle so it's good to see value for money and here we go we've got the beer in the glass and it's uh, First sight, you're thinking it's a lager, but I don't know. I think it actually says uh, it's a lagery type beer, uh, but I'll have a go at uh, the old nose. And we'll just go back in there again for the colouring. You don't really see the colouring in videos anyway, but. We'll go in there actually and we'll have a nose and see what's happening with the nose. Well, it's. Believe it or not, it's got that kind of uh, lager smell to it. Which. Lager with citrus, which you don't get from lager. <laughs> Uh, so suggest to me it's uh, brewed in the old ale style, which would be quite good. Because uh, after years of wandering about in the wilderness, drinking lager, lager is the most blandest beer in the world. Unless you're drinking it in Germany or the Czech Republic or somewhere like that, where you're drinking the real deal. If you're drinking it anywhere else in Europe, it's just cold piss water, that's all you're drinking. Well, I hope the, the Grosette or the Grosnet or whatever the hell you're going to call it from the William Brothers doesn't let me down here. Uh, I'm going to go in for a wee test here and see what I come up with. Well, I'm actually, the bounce back in my estimations, that's very, very refreshing. It's uh, one of those, it's a kind of, I think it'd be aimed at the summery market, beer gardens, go out there, picnics, uh, very light, very refreshing, full of nice citrusy fruits, uh, it has got a wee hint of the lager about of it. Uh, very very pleasant to drink let me have a look here and see what I can come up with it's it's a uh, one of those beers actually that if you were out and about and you were working on a farm or something like that and they had a few of them in the the fridge uh, before you came and for your big hearty tea and you could have a a couple of them to quench your thirst it's one of those if you're English which I'm not believe it or not you never guess with my accent but it's one of those ones as well if you had a ploughman's lunch that means a ploughman's lunch, yeah, you need subtitles with me because I've had a few beers. But if you had a, been at a, a, a nice bar in England and you were sitting outside a nice hot summer's day and the old ploughman's was on the special offer board and you could get a hold of a bottle of this, this would actually work with it. This is lovely stuff. Well, 
That's the Sofa King Drunk Spin on William Brothers, uh, the Grosette beer at a uh, 5% volume. And I'm going to give you my Sofa King Drunk rating now. And I'm going to give the Rosette, the Grosette, even Rosette. My God. Uh, I'm going to give the Grosette by the William Brothers Breweries. I'm going to give it a six. And a six to me is I'll go back and I'll buy it again. If it's five and below, forget about it. But this one actually gets uh, pass marks for me. I was disappointed with the red, but I'm not disappointed with this. This is a great bounce back. And I know they've got some great beers uh, because I've tried them before and I will review them. But uh, the Grosette is, I know we're coming to the end of summer, but if you ever get a chance to buy this, buy it. And it's, it is it is a nice beer. It's a summer beer. So thanks again for tuning in. This is Sofa King Drunk saying cheers now.